Here's the field for the ninth race. Number one, Juju Bean, owned by Sport and Life Racing Stable of Maywood, Illinois. Jim Eaton trains. Eric Ledford is driving. Two, Liberation Day, owned by Robert Leroy Enterprises, Inc. of Elgin. Stanley Miller trains. Brent Holland is up. Three, Determination Plus, owned by John and James Lamparis of Palace Park and Naperville. Teresa Ledford trains. Dave McGee behind the winner of nearly 200,000 this year over 300 life for Fox Valley of Vets owned by Lyle Lacey of Exeter Missouri Ray Hanna trains Tony Morgan will drive five go flow Joe go owned by Bill Wright of Morton by Don Coleman of Lebanon Irvin Miller trains Andy Miller will be in the bike six Duncan's sister owned by John Leahy by Anderson Racing Inc and Michael Neal of Illinois Joe Anderson trains Ryan Anderson is up and number seven, Angel of the Morning, on by Don Trilling, by Dr. Art Reynolds and Jody Peacock, all of Illinois. Jody Peacock, the trainer, Dale Heitman, the driver. The post, six join her, the gate is rolling. Gate picks up speed, and here they come. And someone into the gate. The gate uh, folds, and they're off and pacing, and someone whammed the gate and bent the gate as they drive toward the turn. And on the outside for the lead goes Fox Valley Avet. Now scoots across the racetrack. Determination Plus avoids traffic and now slips to the outside for McGee. He'll move up once the early lead, and she'll soon have it as they race now around the turn toward the quarter-mile mark. On the inside, Juju Bean was out third, still there, racing fourth behind her is Liberation Day, five, Go Flow Joe Go, racing six, Fox Valley, as they race that way, is the Duncan sister, and Angel of the Morning next, and now they're at the uh, quarter, racing past that mark, the new leader, Determination Plus, she makes the top, the Sportsmaster Philly, off a 29-3 front quarter, slowed somewhat by the uh, mishap here at the start, when someone bounced the gate real strongly, as they head down the back stretch, the leader is Determination Plus. Racing second behind her as they head toward the uh, half-mile marker down the backside is Fox Valley of Vet. Third behind Fox Valley of Vet. As they reach the half will be Juju Bean. They've just reached that marker. Fourth now as they head toward the upper turn is Liberation Day. Five, Go Flow Joe Go. Racing six is Duncan's sister at the back, Angel of the Morning. The half and 59-2. So if those fractions are correct, that's a very leisurely half for this class of three-year-old fillies. And the filly with the lead, capable of coming that last half uh, in a monster mile as they race toward the three-quarter mile mark. Off a 51 and four half mile track win, the filly on the lead, Determination Plus, waits for action. It doesn't come. Nobody willing to test her yet as they're past three quarters. And now the first to move on the outside, Go Flow Joe Go. Fox Valley Event is still second. Go Flow Joe Go is third. Three quarters, 129-1. They're at the top of the lane. This could be a brisk last quarter if she's tested. And now in the lane, Determination Plus paces faster now for McGee. Now they're rolling as they drive to the wire. Determination Plus flying down the lane. And nobody's going to catch her. Fox Valley event still hangs on second. Third on the inside, Juju Bean to the wire. Determination Plus. Twenty-six three last quarter, and they were not pacing until past the 16th pole. So that last eighth of that last quarter may be the fastest that anybody ever paced here. The inquiry that will appear on the board, and it's there now along with the photo sign, does concern the action at the start. Hold all tickets. It concerns the start of that race when someone hit the gate and caused the gate to fold in the middle. Now, if you were on the back stretch and didn't see it, the gate absolutely did a fold when it was hit hard by someone in uh, about post five or six. The leading money-winning pacing three-year-old filly of this season in Illinois on her way to being perhaps the all-time leading racing mare in the history of Illinois harness racing. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the outstanding filly Determination Plus, David McGee. Winning Philly, owned by John and James Lamparis of the Chicago suburbs, Palace Park in Naperville, trained by Teresa Ledford. 
Dave McGee, the winningest driver in the history of the Illinois State Fair. Picked up yet another 